hi hello and a warm very warm welcome to everyone who is going to see my lecture uh, video session so uh, the session for today is uh, about collision avoidance system in automobiles so this is an silent feature which is being under development and uh, some manufacturers have already mastered in it and uh, now we are going to see what is collision avoidance system which is basically referred to as CAS here in my session so this is uh, the PPT which I prepared for the for giving you my lecture and under the guidance of Dr. Sugumar and sir so contents of this PPT is what is CAS CAS basically referred to as uh, collision avoidance system so what is the need uh, for CAS uh, system configuration how does it work and how does it uh, tell the driver about us uh, the warning devices used in it and uh, the conclusions based on my uh, viewpoint so far so what is collision avoidance system CSA is a system designed to prevent rear end collisions basically a collision avoidance system it's an automotive safety design designed to reduce this reduce the severity of a collision so it is known as a pre-crash system forward collision warning system or collision mitigating system so it is a saline feature uh, no uh, it is a very important uh, feature uh, in any car or uh, in fact uh, uh, public transports uh, for in order to prevent collision or pre prevent the severity of a collision so uh, day to day life we, we come across so many road accidents uh, in which pedestrians are uh, injured in fact the drivers are injured the passengers uh, who are uh, <coughs> who, who wear seat belt and everything perfectly and has uh, zero percentage of uh, error in their driving is also injured so what is the reason what is the main reason for this is due to irresponsiveness uh, on the road so countries uh, like india ha has uh, so many number of uh, irresponsible drivers so i'm not here uh, making a comment that is not true or uh, generally stating it uh, from my viewpoint so so far uh, i have included some statistical data also in my ppt so we'll see to that in the following session so now um, uh, we'll talk a uh, little more about collision avoidance system cas so it uses radar uh, which is functional in all weather and sometimes laser and camera employing image recognition to detect an imminent crash which is going to happen so gps sensors can detect uh, fixed dangers such as approaching stop signs through a location database so this location database uh, can be installed to a uh, to a car using a gps uh, device so gps navigation device is becoming a standard once in most of the vehicles so manufacturers are uh, in a, um, they are running in a race to develop a far advanced navigation system which helps the driver as well as the co-passengers to have a wonderful and pleasant journey in their uh, to, uh, on their way to their destination. So uh, this one CAS uses the sensors like uh, laser and GPS and so many things to detect uh, if there is a if there is any possible for a possibility for a collision so these detections uh, uh, can be manipulated uh, within a um, software that can that can uh, take um, signals from these sensors and process it and uh, then uh, detect if there is any collision uh, going to happen imminent crash so once this detection is done, these systems either provide a warning to the driver when there is an imminent collision or take action autonomously without any driver input. 
So this here is the main saline feature and the best uh, one of the best safety systems uh, that was uh, revolutionized in, in, uh, in the automobile industry. So uh, this uh, autonomous uh, autonomously taking action includes braking or steering or sometimes both. So now advanced systems are coming up uh, where the car can drive on its own. So uh, irrespective of crash or uh, emergency situation, uh, the, the car acts on its own and sometimes uh, public transports manufacturers like Volvo and uh, Mercedes are using this uh, feature in order to prevent their uh, public transport huge bulges from ramming into cars and people. So now collision avoidance uh, Collision avoidance with braking is appropriate at low vehicle speeds. Example, 50 km h or below. And while collision avoidance by steering is appropriate at higher vehicle speeds. Because the vehicle which is moving at higher speed cannot be uh, brought to 0 km per hour within a small distance. So, steering can be an uh, alternative way and which is very effective. So, steering... Uh, is one of the greatest uh, milestone in the system of collision avoidance. <coughs> Cars with collision avoidance may also be equipped with adaptive cruise control which can alter and lower a uh, speed inside the cru cruise control uh, feature because this one can uh, take uh, some necessary minute actions uh, with the driver's consent, with the driver's present autonomously so that the driver need not slow down and accelerate again the vehicle uh, to the same speed. So, here are some uh, things which uh, tell us about the need of collision avoidance system. So, here, road traffic deaths by road users. So, now you can see, excuse me for a minute. <coughs> sorry for the thing uh, I'm caught with cold sorry so road traffic deaths by type of road user so car car occupants this is amazing uh, basically they they happen to be the most of them so in, uh, irresponsible vehicle driving is not the case in every time every time there uh, the, the accident happens so there are some technical issues technical glitch and sometimes uh, human error uh, so let's talk about it in detail later so now the total thing as far as uh, car occupants are con considered is 31 percentage Motorized two wheelers and three wheelers are 23 uh, percentage, which happens to be the second of them. Cyclists are minimal, which is five percentage. Pedestrians are 20, 20, 22 percentage, which happens to be the third one among the other. And the others are 19 percentage, which includes public transports, uh, animals, and extra. So death. In road accidents in India from 2005 to 2010 increased rapidly, not just in a straight line, it increased exponentially. Uh, just because the amount of road uses, the amount of vehicles have been doubled within this period. Excuse me. Um, the amount of road uses doubled uh, within this period, and as well as the the people uh, got into more uh, important factors so which uh, uh, kept them from paying attention while they are on the road I this includes the pedestrian too so the death uh, on the year the number of deaths due to road accidents on the year 2015 was below, believed to be uh, 1 lakh whereas in case of 2018 it was 1 lakh nearly 1 lakh 20000 as in case of 2010, it is 1,60,000 uh, 60, people, uh, which is uh, considering other countries, which is very high. And 
we need to take serious concern about this since every lives matter a lot to uh, everyone others so uh, number of people dying uh, like one and a half lakhs people is so so high in number that we have to take strict and necessary actions in order to bring it to the minimum number so so what are the conditions of collision so collision is the main reason for uh, so many number of deaths and uh, 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 injured uh, pedestrians not uh, fatal accidents and uh, damaging of the vehicle like example all vehicle car including cars buses two wheelers three wheelers and uh, even the cyclists cyclists are killed uh, uh, like in india there are no not much cyclists compared to two wheeler users whereas in case of london britain uh, the number of cyclists are higher compared to the two wheeler uh, riders so the cyclists who were killed are also high in number uh, these are ba- basically uh, collisions which can be uh, brought under control so there are some these are some examples of conditions of collisions so you can for at the first picture you can see a car moving on its lane so right to the next picture you, you can see the weather uh, that is blocking the view of the uh, driver so in this type of uh, uh, scenario we have the driver has to take extreme care that he has it, has its ve- has his vehicle under his control uh so so that in case of emergency he can uh, bring the vehicle to a stop uh, immediately and uh, without any damage to the uh, passerby or pedestrians or the other vehicles so we can see that uh, the people uh, uh, who travels for a long distance uh, does not take proper rest in between so they happen to be uh becoming tired uh, behind the wheel so which uh, uh tells the car takes the car away from the lane and uh, and you can see this third picture uh, showing us that the driver is uh, tired and he is uh, uh, losing control of his vehicle and his vehicle is about to leave the road and uh, crash to the the to the pavement or the to the um la- electrical lamp post that, that is near the door near the road so uh, sensors have uh, now uh, automotive automotive manufacturers uh, are now developing sensors uh, like lane keeping assist which uh, takes the input from the lane white color uh, rubber coating on the road uh, and uh, it calculates and manipulates and if the vehicle is Uh, happening to go out of the lane uh, it will alert the driver and it will autonomously bring the car again to the lane uh, lane and properly and alert the driver if the uh, driver is dozed off behind the wheel uh, it will ask the driver to take rest uh, so tesla here uh, does a very big uh, role in these kind of sensors management since uh, tesla has introduced uh, so many things that uh, other automotive manufacturers uh, are have copied from tesla not copied so his idea was uh, uh, inspiring and uh, brought revolution in designing so here you can see uh, the car slipping from its lane and uh, going uh, to the opposite lane and uh, crashing with this vehicle this can be even fatal because uh two cars are moving in opposite direction and uh, once the collision is done uh, happened uh, we can think of the newton's third law which t- tells us every action has an equal and opposite reaction so this will result in a huge uh, uh, inertia of uh, motion uh, which uh, damages the car as well as uh, injures the uh, just the 
car occupants. So now in the third case, we can see that the uh, guy on the right uh, changes lane without any indication uh, and the guy on the left lane who is generally fast uh, comes and hits the guy and there's a, there's a possibility of huge crash. Even though this is less fatal than this, uh, high speed crashes are uh, involved uh, like this case which is uh, considering the speed it, it happens to be fatal. Then the fourth case is like this. Uh, accidents happening at a junction. So this is the, the main mistake of the car user, uh, this car, because he is not uh, letting the faster uh, vehicle to move and uh, having he does not have paces to uh, give way for the faster vehicle and then go. Uh, since he does not give, uh, the faster vehicle tries to brake and then he slips away from the from his lane and there is a possibility of even hitting the opposite coming vehicle or there is possibility of hitting the same car which is trying to cross the junction. So this can re really really uh, be alarming since this can have this can uh, cause a lot of, a lot of fatalities. So let's move on to the next slide. So here you guys seeing a forward collision. So uh, the thing is, this happens to be a blind corner, and the guy who is riding, uh, the guy on the yellow car who is coming fast, does not see the ongoing traffic uh, on front of him uh, since it is a blind corner. So he happens to maintain the same speed and he takes the turn. Uh, he does not see the vehicle uh, in front of him is slower than his speed and he tries to when he tries to control his car uh, advanced braking systems have come up since uh, all cars have are not equipped with it uh, some may ram into the vehicle in front and um, the thing can be fatal also if uh, the car is speeding so this one uh, here it is a two lane uh, single lane road so this one is trying to this car is trying to overtake and the collision between them is head on head so which which results in a very very severe collision when fatalities can be there so this one the second case is uh, a two lane road the this means that uh, both the lane are occupied by the same distance same direction uh, travelers so now this happens to be another brain corner when the vehicle is speeding uh, he doesn't happen to see in the pink color car uh, which is going in front of him so when he tries to control he can lose control and he can go and pass the lane uh, he can hit this motorcycle or he can uh, collide on the rear end of the pink color car so this can even be fatal and collisions are generally fatal so we have to consider uh, avoid them uh, being it fatal or not so moving on uh, the system configuration of the collision avoidance system collision avoidance system uh, configuration one uh, millimeter wave radar so this one uses radar to uh, detect if there is a possibility co co possible possibility of collision uh, the possibility of collision so it uses uh, uh, multi uh, radar basically so radar we know what is what radar is uh, infrared waves are uh, transmitted and then after reflection they are collected back and then they are processed for uh, imaging uh, obtaining image the so second one is sensors uh, sensors like like uh, uh, light detecting uh, thing and uh, distance calculating sensors can be used and uh, if the di distance between two vehicles is changed abruptly uh, then the bra braking can be autonomously applied so third one is electronic control unit so this one here controls basically all the thing and uh, uh, the uh, ECU is then subdivided into E pretensioner 
ECU E pretensioner meter unit. So uh, that is uh, something which which is inside of the ECU. Uh, so now uh, let's uh, see this uh, car and take example of how this system works. This is the E pretensioner uh, E pretensioner ECU. Uh, ECU is the one uh, which is which controls the final distance of the autonomous uh, system uh, RH sensor so this one here uh, <coughs> excuse me this one here uh, takes control of the uh, sensor uh, thing and uh, this one uh, absorbs the uh, ongoing traffic so here is the ABS unit here is the millimeter wave ra ra radar so here the, it is here from where the radars are uh, say, uh, thing uh, the uh, waves are sent and then uh, after reflection it is collected and uh, uh, we are processed so this is the ABS unit which controls the brake uh, here is the steering display uh, warming display and uh, CAS switch which can be turned on or off CAS ECU active wheel sensor so all these sensors uh, keeps track of the input uh, which is given to the steering uh, uh, brakes and uh, in case of uh, coll collision being detected uh, it will con uh, autonomics autonomously apply uh, uh, brakes or uh, apply steering input in order to avoid the crash so moving on this is the CMS and E pretensional system operation. So detection of a car ahead with a millimeter wave radiator. <coughs> Excuse me. Intervehicular distance insufficient. Uh, so uh, let's consider this one. Audio and visual warnings. CMS E pretensional. So intervehicular distance is insufficient. Buzzer and displays warning. The system buzzers and displays warning. Since the driver can take control or the intervehicular distance further diminished, buses, displays warning, light braking, light seat belt retraction in order to prevent the car occupants from having an injury. <coughs> Collision unavoidable, buses, display warning, strong braking, strong seat belt retraction. So, this is uh, most of the times. Uh, on the stage 3, the cars come uh, to undress, avoiding the car in front and uh, preventing and thus preventing the collision. Sometimes when the speed is uh, so high uh, that this uh, after the strong braking, the vehicle speed is brought to a minimal uh, which reduces the severity of the collision. So, uh, in case of this, if a car ahead is too close, and the system calculates that there is a risk of collision prompts the driver to take preventive action with an audio and visual warnings uh, audio warnings such as a beep uh, beep or a alarming sound uh, is uh, sounded to the driver so if the distance between the two vehicles further diminishes the system provides a tactical warning by gently retracting the seatbelt and applies light braking so, uh, and a tactile warning by gently retracting the seat belt and applies light braking. If an accident appears to be, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. So, if an accident appears to be unavoidable, the system applies strong braking and strong retraction uh, of the seat belt to hold on the driver in place, supporting the driver's effort to avoid the collision and helping reduce the impact on the occupants and vehicle damage. So, this is how it's, it works. So, uh, control system of CAS and audible warning, light braking and seatbelt retraction, strong braking and seatbelt retraction. Braking distance is given by uh, V squared by 2 mu G. <coughs> Forward collision, warning with brake support. So, uh, radar detects low vehicle ahead. Uh, so, system provides audible and visual warning at stage 3. 
stage 2 the vehicle autonom uh, automatically initiates braking to avoid or reduce the speed of the collision at uh, stage 3 so <laughs> this will uh, prevent the collision or uh, reduce the severity of the collision ranges of sensors that are used in collision uh, avoidance system so first starting with the front surrounding view and digital side mirror which uh, detects the uh, traffic on the sides of the car uh, so blind spot detection this is the these are the areas where the driver cannot have a vision through its rear view mirrors and sensors uh, which are placed here can help the driver in uh, reaching out for these spots without actually seeing it uh, so park assist uh, it's a sensor which uh, protects the car uh, on the 360 degree and uh, alerts the driver if there is any chances of collision or a small uh, impact uh, of the car with the surrounding. So rear collision warning uh, informs the driver about the uh, back coming traffic and uh, if any hard braking is uh, done, uh, the rear uh, collision warning will uh, tell the driver about uh, about the rear traffic and uh, he, it will alert the driver to drive accordingly. Park assistance surround view and rear view mirror provides the day, uh, these three sensors uh, instruments included uh, help in detecting the uh, rear view uh, traffic or uh, surrounding uh, to the driver. So the front one cross traffic alert uh, tells the driver about the pedestrian who are, who are trying to tra cross the road uh, nearer to the car and traffic sign recognition lane departure warning uh, tells as a, tells the driver about the si traffic signs in front and uh, keeps a driver uh, not miss out any sign board and lane departure warning is uh, uh, when the car tries to move away from the lane the, it will alert the driver Emergency braking, pedestrian destruction, collision avoidance. Uh, this uh, helps the driver in uh, emergency braking, pedestrian detection, collision avoidance. Like uh, it will calculate the distance between them, and when there is a sudden decrease in distance, uh, it will alert the driver. Adaptive cruise control uh, detects the traffic on front, and uh, so adaptive cruise control here. Uh, keeps the uh, driver uh, or uh, the autonomous system uh, known of the future coming traffic and it will help the driver uh, in uh, uh, maneuvering the vehicle uh, rightly. So long range radar is adaptive cruise control, uh, lidar camera and everything are short range and uh, ultrasound, ultrasound range radar which is park assist is very short range. Let's move on. Flow of operation, uh, millimeter wave radar, uh, angle, angel speed sensor, yaw sensor, uh, wheel speed sensor. This will all send its uh, uh, digital in inputs to the collision avoiding system ECU, which then uh, process it. In if the if it detects any collision, it will warn light and buzzer. ABS ECU it will con it will start to uh, it will send information to the ABS system uh, which uh, might start light braking and which followed by strong braking in case if it is necessary. Pretensioner ECU and pretensioner um, helps the driver retraction of seat belt and etc. Uh, wheel speed sensor, yaw sensor, ra radar sensor. Um, uh, these two helps in prediction of the vehicle's path. Yeah, wheel speed sensor and yaw edge sensor. Radar sensor uh, senses the obstruct location, relative speed, uh, relative distance, uh, direction, angle. So these two help in calculation of the lateral travel for collision avoidance by steering, which is then evaluation of the possibility of a rear end collision, uh, which then breaks or uh, sees according to the uh, things that can take uh, place so each case is different uh, so the system is dynamically uh, so tuned that uh, uh, it can work very well at even harsh conditions all weather so 
uh, uh, thanks to the scientists who had the revolutionary idea on bringing the sensors to the automotive mobile parts. So warning devices here are visual heads up displays uh, which uh, displays uh, displays the speed and distance between the uh, car that is moving forward and uh, this one second excuse me. Uh, tells the driver about uh, uh, the uh, sensor uh, sensors values without having the driver to take his eyes off the road. So it is uh, there in the sight of the sight of the road uh, of the driver. So it does not uh, draws the drivers with the driver's attention much uh, much. So visual head warns warnings are displayed on the windshield in the driver's field of view. So it is uh, one of the uh, revolutionary idea which is very 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 helpful and uh, most advantage advantage uh, feature. Audio and voice signals. Auditory signals appear to be less instructive uh, on driving tasks. So uh, to be less instructive on driving tasks uh, means that uh, uh, it can alert the driver uh, uh, in an efficient way and uh, combined with heads up displays and uh, autonomous braking this uh, uh, happens to give a uh, lot of uh, advantages to the driver so automobile manufacturers uh, which started using this collision preventing system is Honda 2003 incorporated with an e pretensioner uh, on a Honda S2000, Toyota PCS on uh, the model Toyota, uh, the manufacturer Toyota introduced this on its model PCS on February 2013, which was long ago. Mazda uh, used in many of their cars, Mercedes Benz in, in the fall of 2015, and from that, uh, uh, luxury line vehicles of Mercedes had this feature as standard. So Nissan had a, most of his, uh, this in luxury segments and uh, sports segments. Uh, Volvo introduced this in 2007, and uh, this happens. To, the this manufacturer happens to have uh, involved uh, the collision avoidance system uh, in a better way, and uh, they they took uh, this uh, collision avoidance system uh, to their public transport buses and. Uh, Volvo multi axle buses have one of the uh, most uh, beautiful functioning collision avoidance system. Uh, Subaru Lun in 2008, Ford in 2009, and Lincoln and MKS and MKT. Uh, Audi uh, it brought uh, its first debut of uh, collision avoidance system in 2011 and its model A8. Volkswagen Front Assist on 2011. General Motors uh, brought it on 2012 Skoda Skoda introduced it in Citigo in uh, June 2012 which was uh, late compared to the to their rivals and uh, Fiat uh, brought it on 2013 so this is how it works on the on a Mercedes S class so yeah so we have uh, come to the last part of our session for uh, today's lecture and here we can see a head on head collision right here so this i get everyone uh, will know that there, there will be some fatal uh, this is a fatal accident and this, uh, there might be some death also uh, some very serious injuries so this cannot happen uh, when technologies have evolved so far so, uh, so the drivers and many scientists have come together to put their efforts uh, in order to save the precious lives uh, from accidents. So, automatic automatic braking systems can stop the car to avoid an accident. So, uh, in case of this accident, if that car was equipped with an automatic braking system, the collision would have been much. Uh, uh, less in uh, magnitude and uh, it might have 
been a, a non fatal non fatal accident uh, so when uh, it had an uh, lane keeping assist uh, feature the car wouldn't have gone to the opposite uh, lane speeding uh, so uh, if I, if it had an uh, dynamic uh, steering uh, excuse me excuse me the collision avoidance system might have uh, steered the vehicle out of the uh, oncoming traffic's uh, path uh, so this is it so in future it will implement in aircrafts and railways as well so in order to prevent uh, accidents in any kind of uh, travel transportation medium so here uh, is an example of the uh, number of fatal injuries in the year in the years that came so 2008 had the most of them 2000 followed by 2009 followed by uh, uh, 2000 2011 followed by 2013 uh, 12 and, and the last is 2013 since most of the uh, advanced uh, uh, technologies have been introduced the uh, collisions uh, the number of accidents have dropped to four percentage compared to the previous thing on 2008 which was 23 percentage that is a far more uh, improvement in uh, in the field of uh, uh, collision avoidance system on automotive industry technology trend of automobile collision avoidance system so now you can see uh, we have seen so far the how the collision avoidance system works and how the manufacturers uh, have uh, introduced it in their own models and uh, how well the system uh, uh, avoids a crash or uh, minimizes the severity of a crash and how the system works and uh, how does the sensors reciprocate the uh, travel distance and uh, sends the information to ABS system and uh, steering control system and uh, we have also seen that uh, uh, how uh, how different types of collisions can occur and what are the remedies to it and uh, how electronically uh, driving a car can become easy and safe uh, now the Tesla manufacturer and not only Tesla many manufacturers have, inclu uh, have been introducing their autonomous driving uh, cars but uh, best of them is Tesla since Tesla is uh, all electronic uh, they are bringing many revolutionary ideas and uh, recently they have launched a Tesla Roadster they have given out the first looks uh, which goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 1.8 seconds uh, which happens to be the fastest of the history history of cars uh, first time uh, electric car uh, can accelerate so far so uh, since uh, it has so many number of uh, torques 10,000 newton meter of torque uh, so we are expecting to expanding it to have a very very advanced uh, electronic uh, collision avoiding system braking system and uh, steering system and uh, so on and so forth so let us conclude by saying that uh, new technologies uh, not only helped us uh, helped, uh, helped us uh, live uh, uh, live uh, tension free but also saved our lives from so many fatal accidents so saved so many uh, uh, pedestrians lives uh, from fatal accidents so I guess uh, I'm giving a big thumbs up to the all those scientists who have uh, uh, put their lives on and brought this uh, safety measuring safety measures to the automotive industry. Uh, again, uh, I thank you uh, for the wonderful opportunity and under the guidance of uh, Dr. Sugumar and Sir. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed my lecture and uh, waiting to see you all again thank you so references i have used in uh, for my presentation are james k kucha and and c bram 
2007, the traffic light and collision awareness system, volume 16, number 2. Uh, Honda Motor Science and Education, Trends in Japan 2003, autoweb.com.au. Honda develops new collision awareness system in 2003. Franco's Granite, Rosella Picardo, Marin Smith, Longitudinal Awareness 2003. Thank you so much.